Whoa, it's so empty in here. What's going on? Before we continue, I would like to say Lily's outfit is really top notch. Very, very nice. Miku sighs sadly, twisting her apron anxiously. We had an issue this morning. An issue? Is everyone alright? We are fine. It's more of a trash issue all over the outside of the cafe. What? What happened? I'll give you one guess. Lily frowns, already catching on to what Miku was hinting. The wolves. Miku and I nod. Seems they dump their trash all around the places. But Miku, Finn and I got all cleaned it up. But that still doesn't answer why the place is empty. Yeah, we still haven't quite figured that out. But we are certain it's the wolf. There has to be something we can do. We don't want to do anything drastic. We need to be careful. Lily huffs while Megumi and Miku just look sad. <laughs> the, their facial expression is really funny. There has to be something I can suggest. Anything helpful as a manager. Hmm. Security cameras. Maybe we should install one of those. I don't know if we could afford an alarm system. And it wouldn't help us with the outside really. Um, why don't you just use some magical power? Don't you have that? Oh, I see. Maybe their magical power is like a certain one, like the fire and ice one. Basic element. No, not an alarm. But we could use always set up cameras outside and inside. Oh, that's a great idea, Kakashi. Yeah, that would be ideal. We could get one of those for the front, one inside, and one for the garden. Miko smiles at the mention of protecting her garden. Oh, sure. That would work perfectly. I didn't... Oh, the garden, the small little tiny garden, I see. That would work perfectly. And then, when those pests do something again, we will have hard evidence. Not that that's really helped us before, but having proof of them in the act will be better than nothing. Sure, and totally justify our retaliation. Let's not get too carried away, Lily. <laughs> For now, we can at least get an idea of just who we are dealing with. Megumi smiles, gently placing her hand on my shoulder. This is a great idea, Kakashi. I feel my heart soars as I look at the girls and see how proud they are. Maybe I really am management material. Alright, I just need to keep doing everything I can to help them out. Maybe we just should put one in the office too, so we can catch Miku kept napping. Oh, yep, Miku always kept napping, you know. So this is one is Lizzie suggested. Okay, Lily, Miku blushed while Lily laughs. <laughs> Even I chuckle at the idea. She does look cute when she dozes off. Kakashi don't encourage him. <laughs> I mean her, sorry. Hey, he can't help it if it's a great idea. I can get them set up tomorrow. Hopefully they won't disrupt us again. Or maybe I could buy cameras tomorrow. Thank you for, so much for this Kakashi. It will really be a huge help. Of course, we should also take stock of all the valuables in the cafe and also our goods. That way, if they do something drastic, we can get covered with our insurance and can file a proper police report. I wonder the police have like um, some special powers or how would they capture someone who has like magical powers? Well, Kakashi, you are way smarter than I thought. I raised an eyebrow at that. What? That's supposed to mean. Did you think I was stupid? Lily just grins and shrugs. I mean, you did wind up cursed with cat ears. Hey, I had no idea that could even happen. Lily laughs and even Megumi and Miku giggles. I'm outnumbered here. They can totally bully me. <laughs> this seems really nice. We continue doing what we later work we get throughout the day. It still stays pretty empty, but we do get a few of our regulars. Don't lose hope. This place is so good. I'm sure thing cafe will work out. Okay, this is the female customer number one. Miku smiles and gives a small bow. Thank you for the kind words. We will be sure to keep our heads high. For sure, I'll tell someone of my classmates to start coming here to study. Oh, female customer number two. Alright. That's very kind of you. But while Miku was dealing with encouraging customers, Lily seems to be having a different ex experience. Hmm, this place is really quaint. And I kinda... And kinda old looking. Alright. Guess the name and tick was more of a description. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I can tell Lily is trying to keep her cool as she sets their drink down. But full moon is always so crowded. It's nice to be in such quiet atmosphere. I see. This is one of the wolf's border. I have to kick them out. Kick her out. 
And these cakes taste better than full moons. Wait, wait, wait. These cakes taste better than full moon? Alright. True, but you can't beat the aesthetic of full moon. The two continue to chatter on while Lily comes back and rolls her eye. We should make a rule that no one can utter full moon or talk about that place. You know, I don't think I have been there before. Well, you're not missing anything. Those stupid wolves can compare, can't compare to our place. Given how they are willing to attack other cafe, I can imagine it's a very nice place to be. Right, they are bad people with a bad cafe. <laughs> you cannot just say because he's a bad people, therefore that's a bad cafe. It doesn't work like that. She hands the hot order sheet to Finn and keeps ranting. The whole hook is that they designed the place to look like it's out of some drama. <laughs> They have these overly decorated walls, which is really the only reason people go there. Interesting, I would like to see it myself. I don't like to hear just words because it might be misleading. I look at her confused. They go for walls? It's more for social media cloud. The photos people can take turns out very nice on social. I see and not my head understanding that. So they just make everything photographable? Basically, but there is no heart or soul in that place. I see. I'm not just saying that because it runs by soulless evil wolf, right, Finn? Lily laughs, but Finn doesn't really respond. She just busies herself with the orders. Megumi comes in, interrupting Lily's rant and holds up a coffee pot. Okay, well, Megumi is pretty okay. Kagashi, do you have time? I would like to teach you something. Huh? Oh, sure thing, I've got time. Megumi smiles and motions for me to come into the kitchen. Finn glances at the coffee pot and smiles at Megumi. Whoa, I never saw such bright smile from Finn. That's crazy. Passing on a French press technique. I see. Megumi smiles. I think it's important that he knows how to do it. Okay, let me see. Finn, Finn nods and gets back to cooking while Megumi sets the coffee pot in the front in front of me. It's then I realized there is way more utensil than usual. So this isn't just some regular coffee, huh? Have you ever had French press coffee, Kakashi? Nope, in real life, no. I don't think so. Megumi chuckles. You would know, trust me. Let me show you the best way to make it. I watch as Megumi carefully sets up everything and then slowly pours hot water over the coffee ground. The technique takes time because you can't rush everything and you want the water to be absorbed by the coffee beans. I take it I take it this is mostly made the order rather than prepared at the beginning of the day. Interesting. Oh absolutely. It should be enjoyed right after it's prepared and not left to sit. I smile as she continue to take the most utmost care with the drink. Finally, she finished and poured me a cup. I blow on it before taking a sip. This is amazing, Megumi. I've never had coffee that actually tastes good without fixing. Are you sure? Megumi gives me a smile, but I can see there is a twinge of sadness in it. Our previous manager taught me how to do this, and well, it's my favorite way to make coffee. Well, he really did mean the word to her. <laughs> and this to this cafe. I wonder if I'll ever be able to compare to him. <laughs> Megumi blushed as if realizing she's carried on too much. Okay, anyway, I hope you will practice and enjoy it like I do. I give her a gentle pat on the shoulder. Thank you for teaching me, Megumi. I hope I can get close to making it as well as you do. She nods and then hurried out of the kitchen. The respect and trust they must have had in their old manager. I run my hand through my hair and grimace as I brush against the soft, fluffy ears. Meanwhile, they are stuck with me, some idiot who gets himself cursed. <laughs> Interesting. The rest of the day managed to pass, though slowly, and we see the final customer of the day walks in. And surprisingly, it's a wolf couple. What's with today's and wolves? Oh dear, I don't know if I can serve them. Not after what happened the other day. And Miko is on break, so Lily sighs and ties her apron on. I've got this, don't worry. Remember to be nice. I'm always nice. <laughs> Lily's face. She, sure enough, she's able to keep 
a good attitude taking the orders and even maintaining small talk. Satisfied that she has it handled, I go to see if Finn and or Megumi needs help. I feel so bad putting the pressure on Lily. She's actually handling it just fine besides it's good customer service practice. And we all know she could use all the practice she can get. Everyone shares a chuckle. I'm going to check on Miku. Sometimes she'll get caught up tending into the garden on her break and go over her time. Okay. As Megumi walks back, I heard Lily coming stomping around the corner and into the back area. So what happened? Whoa, Lily's crying or something? She huffs and looks like she wants to scream. Yikes, that's not a happy expression on our typical happy-go-lucky member. I wonder if she wants to talk about, I mean what she wants to talk about, or if she would rather be left alone. Let me see, let, let her film alone, okay? Not gonna spend 25 gem for some crazy thing. She could probably use some time to cool down. I can at least keep an eye on her and make sure she doesn't do anything drastic. Ah, stupid wolves. Lily pays irritated for a few moments before she seems to calm down. We should keep an eye on these two, you know. Why? Because I bet they are spies. <laughs> I raise an eyebrow at that. Um, okay, sure. Satisfied, she huffs and then grabs the rest of the order before walking back out. Even with her little episode in the back, Lily finished serving the wolf's couple with a great service. And after another hour with only a few more guesses, we finally start closing up shop. Man, what a slow day. No kidding, I have to freeze so many cakes. At least we did have some customer though. That's true. Alright everyone, let's rock, lock up and get plenty of rest. I look down at Toto while the girls take care of closing duties. Think you can keep an eye on this place tonight? Toto looks at me, his golden, golden eyes piercing as they stares back at me. Yup, what had happened? Hmm, I do wonder if I would be so easy to do that. I mean, if it would be so easy. Why? Can't you just stay in the, the, the house? I mean, the cafe? I look at him quizzically. What does he even mean by that? Come on, Kakashi, it's time to lock up. Alright, night, Toto. The cat just stretched and then jumped up on the shelf to curl up. He's hoping we don't come back to a mess. The next morning, I walk up to the cafe and I'm relieved to find it's not a total mess. Let's hope the inside is in one piece too. I walk in, the door chiming behind me. And sure enough, everything is still in place. Thank goodness. Toto jumps down from the window and walks between my leg. All good overnight? Nothing excited. Thing happened, I assure you. Good. Who else is here? Miku arrived quite early this morning. She's in the office. Great, thanks. I bent down to give him a head stretch, head scratch, before going to the office. Miku, are you? I find her at the desk. Her head is in her arms as she snooze in a beam of light. Interesting. Miku always sleeping. Hmm, adorable. She looks so comfortable and so at peace. There's a part of me that wants to leave her be. Okay. But she would just get irritated at me. How should I wake her up? Tickle her ears. <laughs> Definitely. I hate to disturb her when she looks so cute. But I know she would be so annoyed if she walks up late. She's so strict with herself. I reach out and run my hand over the little tuft of fur, turf of fur in her ears. It twitches a very cute sight, but it doesn't quite wake her up yet. I do it again, this time also lightly flicker the top, flicking the top of her ear. That gets a much more obvious reaction. Okay, Miku reach up to bat my hand away, which makes me laugh. Oh, Miku is awake. At the sound of my laughter, she sits up and looks around. When she spots me, she immediately stands up and is flustered. I just, I was just taking a break. I came in a few hours ago and then wanted to rest, so I just, uh, I laugh and shake my head. Miku, you are totally fine. I just figured you would want to wake up before your shift actually starts. I like blush color her cheek. Yes, thank you. And I feel much better and ready to work. Just take it easy. You don't want to become exhausted. Right, I know. I smile at her, admiring her sense of responsibility. Such a hard worker. We work on getting everything prepared before opening the cafe for the day. There are even a few customers a few more extra customers than yesterday. 
coming in, which relieves Miku. Later, Migu, Megumi and Lily come in for their shifts, happy to see the place isn't a disaster. Well, of course, I'm uh, the garden cat, alright? Yeah, it's just you and only your job when you feel like it. <laughs> okay, the cat only does his job, like, whenever it feels like it. Well, we gotta treat this place, I mean, we gotta make sure this place is 100% clean, you know. We have to prevent the wolf from coming in. The cat is responsible, alright? Okay, let's continue. Lily pokes at his stomach while Megumi gives him a nice pat. Either way, we appreciate your hard work. Then you should give me treats. Not a chance, chunky boy. Everyone laughs and it's a refreshing feeling, like we are finally getting re relaxed. The bell chimes and when we look up, we immediately recognize the pair that walks in. Ah, I see. Why, it's Kentaro-chan. The little boy and his mother walks in smiling. Ken just won't stop talking about the drink you made of him. So I promised him we would finally come by. We are we are really glad that you come you came, okay? I'll go make the drink just for you right away, Ken Chan. Kentaro grinds delightfully. After Megumi brings him the glass and some coffee for his mother, she stays to chat with him. It's a very endearing to It's very endearing to see her her getting along with the little boy, I bet she's a big sister. She is so sweet. But then Kentaro suddenly reach up and tap on Megumi's ear, okay? So these are real? My friend said sometimes there are people who just wear fake cat ears. Megumi whines but doesn't make the boy stop. Yes, they are quite real. Whoa! I should probably go to help her. <laughs> nope, I just wanna see disaster, you know? Though she hasn't asked for help. Cheer her on the <laughs> yeah, poor Megumi. I'm sure she will stop him if she he's hurting her. She just doesn't want to upset him. I'll give her a thumbs up and mouth good luck while she lets the boy touch her ears and gently pull on them. <laughs> Finally Lily came over and managed to make him stop. She tells him a joke and everything seems to be good. Everyone works so well here. After enjoying their treats, before Kentaro and his mother leaves, he tuck on Megumi's apron. Miss Megumi, you are so nice and good at making desserts. I wanna just I wanna be just like you. Megumi blushes and thanks Kentaro for being so kind. The other girls and I green Lily poking a little fun at Miss Megumi. Okay, sure. But still it's really adorable to see her to see she has a fan. As the end of the day near, I head to the office to take care of a few things. When I walk in, I catch Lily in there. Lily, what are you doing? She frees, looking very guilty. Nothing, just on papers. I need papers. Nah, I don't know what she's doing, but I'm going to get the bottom of this. She snatched a sheet and ran out. That was suspicious. What's going on? Interesting. Maybe... Maybe Lily is a spy? I don't know. Just saying. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next episode.